thinking, oh, I've got frizzy hair, thick hair, curly hair. I don't really know if I can have the trend, but I'm showing you, you can. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. I just want to do a quick sort of shout out, appreciation sort of talk for a second. Uh, just to say thank you so much for all of you guys who have hit that red button, the subscribe button, the thumbs up and commented. Uh, join me on my, on my YouTube journey, bringing you this hair education. I just want to say a massive thank you. Uh, it truly means a lot. I never thought I'd be anywhere. I thought I was going to be like my pinnacle was going to be 10K and we're about to double that today. Um, so yeah, I just want to say thank you so much for, for joining me, liking what I do, giving me constructive criticism as well. I like the, the sort of posts which are a little bit sort of negative. They make me up my game and keep bringing you content that you guys want to see. Talking of that, this is one of the biggest questions that I see in the comments down below. Uh, how can I have a wolf cut, shag sort of look if I've got really frizzy, curly hair? Like this. So I've just got this mannequin head, I've tonged it, I've frizzed it up, I've backcombed it with my fingers and, and basically brought you like a, yeah look at her, she's an absolute mess. But after today she's not going to be. Today we're going to be cutting this uh, inspired by Marcus Gimate. Uh, he's one of the, the Mark Anthony Joyco ambassadors. He did a live the other week for Joyco over on Joyco Europe's Instagram page. I'm actually live next Tuesday on Joyco Europe Instagram page. If you want to check that out, go and follow those guys. I'll leave the link in the description below. But yeah, he did this sectioning pattern and, and the way he sort of prepped it, I'm going to be doing the same today, but he used a razor and I'm going to be using the butt of my scissor. The butt of my scissor is that piece there. And when I come to cut, I'll have my hair out and I'm just going to sort of back cut it with the butt of my scissor. It gives a lot more, so it gives a lot more of like a, a free flowing texture, but you do have guides. So where you pull it out, there's a guide, you, you sort of by eye, or you can pull a piece out, there you go, and then just back cut it. Not suggesting you do this to yourself at all, but I know a lot of you do. Uh, but this is, this is really designed to take to your hairdresser and say, look, seen this guy on YouTube, could you do my hair something similar like this? It's what us hairdressers do in the salon, uh, yeah, let's get into it. First of all, products I'm going to be using. Zero Heat is a must. This is, a, by the name, Zero Heat. You don't need any heat, but I'm going to, I'm using the light one. There's a light to medium and then one for thick hair. Light to medium, I'm going to diffuse into the hair so you can see it creates sort of this, this beautiful shape, natural curl. Just to firm it up a little bit, Joy Gel. I'm just going to pop a little bit of that in with my Zero Heat, just cocktail it together, give a little bit of stronger texture, a little bit more smoothing as well. And then just to prep, you can't go wrong with Luster Lock. That is what I call a Swiss Army knife of hair products. You open it up, give it a spray, protects, shines, seals, nourishes, everything. Everything. If I went through the back of the bottle, I'd be here all day telling you what it does. So anyway, let's get on with the haircut. You're going to absolutely love it. Can't wait to bring you it. Let me know in the comments down below. If you are new, hit the subscribe button, uh, give the video a thumbs up, and let's get into it. So what I'm doing with sectioning, I've just done a diamond section around the parietal ridge. So where the head starts to curve, curve all through there, that's where the points go. I'll show you through the top. But you put the comb on there and then when it starts to come away from the head, I'll show you now, just through there. So you can see that. And then what I'm doing, I'm working around the perimeter and I am just, so these, uh, well, this hair has got Joy Gel and Zero Heat. And I'm working in centimetre sections throughout the hair and I'm just twisting whatever side I'm on. So as you know, when you come to curl the hair, you twist away from the face basically. So where I'm here, I'm twisting this way. And when I'm that side, I'll be twisting that way. Again, another centimetre section. And then we're just twisting this away from the face. And what this does, when we come to cut, it's gonna give me sections throughout. So here, I know I'm gonna to take to about there. This section will probably go cheekbone, this section will probably go jaw, this section will probably come around here. So then we create that shape coming through there. 
So this is basically our sectioning pattern where we know we're going to cut and we're going to back cut. So what I'll be doing, I'll be taking this section like that, scissors in, back cutting. It's going to give a beautiful texture. So I've just found a really good product to help keep these in because the, the weekend hair and the gel were quite soft. Hair shake is a bit like a beach spray. It's got a lot of texture to it. Not loads of hold, it's quite dry. But I found it just keeps the uh, these twists in. Just like that. And you can cut with it in as well, so perfect. But yeah, there is the twists all the way around, try not to disturb it. Got that on top, which we'll be twisting out after. So let's get into the haircut. So basically what we want to do is we want to get our central guide, which is here, and we want to pick our mark of where we're going to go. And I'm going to go on the tip of the nose and then we're going to back home. So I will show you sideways what that looks like. So we pull this out. Don't know why I've got my comb, don't even need it. Right, just twisting it again, just if they come loose a little bit. There's the tip of the nose, which is there. And then what I'm going to do is just back cut like that. Each section will be back cut. And have a look at that. There's a lot of texture when it focuses. A lot of texture in there. So there's our first cut, just on the nose. Now, it's already got like a really textured edge, which is lovely. So now this side will come to the, to the jawline. And just talk about points of reference, because it's really important, because this is very much freehand cutting, if you were just like, oh yeah, we'll do there. When we come to that side, we wouldn't really remember where we're coming to. So we know that's the nose, but that's our middle guide. We're gonna come down to that jaw just there, which is there. We're just pulling straight out from the head and we're back cutting. Like that. You can see that's sitting at the jaw now. So all we wanna do is we wanna create it down to here. So let's just twist this a little bit more. So that was there. So now I'm just going to drop down an inch so I know I'm coming there. And again, there, I'm just going to drop down an inch. And we're coming straight out from the head. So you can see that. You can see that traveling down there now. So we've got it there, it just travels down there. So this side, let's just do it up a little bit more. That's to there, we'll drop down a little bit. To there, just do this up. That's to there. So we're nearly at the ends here, which is perfect. It's coming to just at the ear. And if we just look here, there's our last bit we cut. This is gonna be literally the tips. So let's bring this around here so you can see. Straight out from the head. So this section comes straight out here. And then all I wanna do is that. And so what you wanna see is that shape coming through there. So we move on to the other side now. Now remember where this point of reference was? It's like the jawline. So pulling straight out from the head. There we go. 
bang on. And then we were an inch from there. So there, about an inch, straight out from the head. There. Again, through there, and again, through there, and this is our second from last section, which we know was there, and then this one on the ear was just the tips. Straight out from the head, there. Got that shape running through both sides now. Now we're gonna to come to the back of the head. So what I wanna do with the back section now is I wanna maintain a sort of like a square off perimeter, but I wanna get a bit of layering in there. So what I'm gonna do is, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get just one of our central sections and then where we've twisted it, I'm just going to bring straight out from the head and I'm going to take off two inches and I'm going to do that throughout but instead of coming straight out from the head here I'm going to over direct it slightly so it comes back so we know we maintain the length through here because that's where we don't really want to lose we don't want it to go down then up and then down so a couple of inches. So coming straight back, a couple of inches, back cutting through there. And then again, just twist it back. Coming back, a couple of inches, back cutting there. And then there is our ear section. There was our ear section there. So we've still got three more sections to go that we're gonna bring back. And we know we're maintaining length because we are elevating slightly, but we're also over directing it backwards. And then there was our rear section. So that's still a little bit longer. Bringing it right back here. And there we go. So that is our perimeter, just nice and textured. Same on this side, we're gonna take two inches off. So let's twist it the other way. Two inches. two inches and look, that's where we get the elevation from so we know we're maintaining the length at the bottom and it's just going to be put in texture through the middle and then we're over directing it back not to the middle but just straight back from the head and then we're taking two inches off through there Ignore these little bits of red in here. This was a, an old mannequin head, but I'm going to be turning this into one of my colours for next week's live. There, and here's one of our last sections. So you can see there's our length a little bit longer. So we're just bringing it back, twisting it back away from the face. And then about two inches off. Let's just shake that out so you can see what it's done. So 
So there's that shape there. So you've got that fringe coming through and that's all opened up through there. Now this top section, and we're gonna disconnect this slightly. So I just wanna get this, twist it round. So for this section, I just picked up some bigger scissors. This is the top section, and what I wanna do, I wanna create, I wanna like veil over quite a bit of texture, because we've got all this texture in here that we've got from that perimeter sort of cut we did, but now we wanna put this, this layer in. So I reckon somewhere about there. And I reckon if we just... So all I'm doing is using the butt of the scissor, like that. And because we're working on somebody who's got curly hair, we know it's all gonna bounce up and spring up, which is why we didn't go too drastic or too short of it, because we know we're gonna be, it's gonna be bouncing up. So now I've got those products in, look, you can see that layer in there. It's disconnected, I'll just pull it out so you can see. So there's our, there's our layer length there. There's our perimeter length. So we have got a really heavily layered, but because it was all taken to the middle, twisted, and then back cut, it's just pushing it in, creating loads of texture in there, irregular lengths to an extent. This is still gonna be very balanced, but this is just gonna be really cool, really textured, and just a different take on a wolf cut. Because I know a lot of you out there want to, who have got curly hair, frizzy hair, and they wanna wear a wolf cut, but they're afraid to go too short in case it bounces up. So I showed you what I took. So off the top, I probably took around about four or five inches. And uh, the placement of the diamond is, is key because you'll see, you get a bit of a, I mean, look at that. That is blended perfectly. And that's because where the diamond came down to, we were able to take away this internal layer and then just it just meets up with this perfectly. So I'm gonna get this dried and I'll be back in a minute. guys a really simple technique to use in the salon to create a textured wolf cut nothing too short but just gives loads of texture really accentuates the curl uh, takes the curl pattern into consideration as well because you can you can really customize how short you're going to be back home in this hair so where I was looking at the nose you've got these really nice short bangs in here and then it just it just sort of like melts away so it's a bit shorter here you've got this length down here shortness here but I think it just looks, I think it looks perfect. But yeah, I, just, I think it looks stunning. Like having this curl really controlled, but loads of texture in there, being able to have a bang on trend right now. If you're, if you're worried about the frizziness or, or how to ask your stylist, how can I cut it? How, or, or not how to cut it, but how could I, I really want a wolf cut, but how could you approach it with your stylist is what I mean. Because you're, you're thinking, oh, I've got frizzy hair, thick hair, curly hair. I don't really know if I can have the trend. But I'm showing you, you can. Like this is, you've seen how frizzy it all was at the beginning. Yes, I've sort of back combed it, but a lot of people's hair is like that naturally. Wake up in the morning, frizzy. So I wanted to make you see it, but look at how perfect those curls are. And I'll show you all the way around. Look at that volume through there, but not volume through here, because you don't get, with wolf cuts, it's not about the volume through the top, it's about the, the, the expanding of the shape, which is what we're looking for. And that, like, I absolutely love it. I think that's one of my favorites, actually. 
one of my favourite techniques. I've always back cut, but I haven't done it for a wolf cut. I don't think I've done it for a video, so I thought I'd bring you it. But yeah, this is, I mean, you can just get your fingers in there and, and really, really expand the shape even more. Like you should be able to see that layer. Yeah, look, you can see all that layer all coming out now. And that is that top section. Look at, look at all that layer in there. So I'm gonna have a little play with it. I'll take some pictures of it uh, as a final result, but you've seen, I just wanna make it a little bit more uh, expanded because uh, I absolutely love it. And it's not frizzy. The products I used, I'll link down in the description below. They're at the shop, uh, but it was weekend hair, uh, color therapy spray, you've had the joy gel and you had hair shake. And the hair shake is something that really controlled when cutting. Not really a cutting lotion that I would use if I was working a comb through because it makes the hair quite uh, dry and stiff, um, but it controls it. And for curls, it's perfect. So yeah, I am loving this. So if you've loved it too, let me know in the comments down below if it's helped you. If you think, right, I'm gonna go to my hairdresser now, gonna get a wolf cut, let me know, I'd love to know. So uh, yeah, until then, hit the subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up, comment down below, and I'll see you on the next video.